Sundays are good days for a nap. But I'd rather hang out with B and do stuff. Now it's time to go down and start working on the garage. Probably not gonna get it all finished today, but at least wanna get started on it, and we'll get as much done as possible. Eventually, this is gonna go back there. A lot of that back there is gonna go up here. We'll just have to start hammering away at it. So it's like a giant slide puzzle, jigsaw puzzle, Rubik's Cube, all in one. All right, one day down, who knows how much. Now we get into the fun part. You know what else? What's that? We're gonna see what they've been up to back there. Yes, we have a couple of little possum friends that were having a little possum fight the other night. Sounded kind of like a hog dying, but it was just possums fighting. <laughs> That's what a possum fight looks like, reenacted by a couple of weirdos. And now, as the shop gets clean, it's time to make a little announcement. This is a 10-foot cargo trailer that was designed to be a vending trailer by my dear old dad. And he did a wonderful job. He manufactured them for a while. We've had this trailer for a couple of years. And now, it's gonna be time to turn it into a little camping RV. There will be many, many, many an episode that feature a little RV renovation. Definitely some camping and some travel. And some bickering. Yes, probably a lot of bickering. But that's what we do. We hope you enjoy. All right, day two. And we are going to try to organize this. Anytime you're cleaning out a shop, you always find different things. You know, everything has a story kind of thing. And I just ran across the plans for the workbenches in the shop. This was probably three, four years ago. I made these out of some old doors that I got for free. That was the third door in that little box. Did you think when you started building this workshop that you would ever have this much stuff? It is definitely a far cry from single table up there with a car parked right here and a little table in the corner where I was doing little mosaics. Remember when we parked a car in here? It was like a car, there was like three quarters of a car, and there was like half a car, and then it was like, you know what, the car's just gonna be parked outside. Just a little bit of a wood shop. Wow, this is for the base for the metal shelf table that is sitting right over there. This is a book that has the plans for tables that I've built for clients, tables that were canceled by clients, designs for our wedding. Fun little trip down memory lane. I just ate a bunch of pizza. It's about 90 degrees outside. Time to do day three in the garage, so let's do some manual labor. gets better. Right, it's a beautiful morning. The neighbors are gone, so I'm gonna utilize their side of the garage and move a lumber rack.
I built this lumber rack about two or three years ago out of an old desk and an old table and I had four wheels. So I flipped the desk over, I put the wheels on the bottom and now I have compartments for all the lumber. And it rolls, so it moves nice and easy. Okay, so the way this little game of Tetris works, you need to move the sewing desk, the plastic drawers. The sewing desk goes here, the plastic drawers go underneath. That piece of wood goes over the top of it, makes one big nice workbench, and we'll shim it underneath. And we can use that for all kinds of workshop kind of stuff. by a gentleman that came to the yard sale. He was a sniper in the military and basically got all of his fingers blown off aside from a thumb and a nub. And he commissioned it for me, have it ready for him by Halloween one year. And so I procrastinated for the last couple of days and it turned out he needed it by Halloween weekend. So it has been sitting here ever since then. I really want to finish it. So I've spent the last three evenings plus all day yesterday working on cleaning up this shop. So now begins the first step of the new trailer renovation. Renovation? Renovation. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. Let's go. 